Hello everyone and welcome back to Autonauts. This is Otaku Showboat and today is the 17th episode of our ongoing series. If you have been enjoying the series thus far, please do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. You can also do all of the social stuff through the links in the description below. Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, Discord, website, all those good things uh, through the description links below. What did we do last time? Last time we got the ability to make T3 food. That's what we got last time. We also started making the clay pots, or not pots, but bowls for our T3 food. So we can start to think about doing all of that. We have a crude cooking bot recipe here, uh, upgrade blueprint, so I will definitely be doing that today uh, if I actually had clay. Yeah, so as it turns out, until I actually have all of the clay pots here, I probably won't have the clay to actually truly do this upgrade yet, but it doesn't really matter either way because th there's no point in having level 3 food. <sighs> so, in this new version of the game that uh, is as of recording this particular video, now you need to uh, come to me. Uh, so there's new buttons added to here, uh, including a uh, to me button as well as a drop everything that you are holding button. Uh, you can go ahead and you can do that. I will uh, go and take care of this. So there were issues with bots. Now, if I have more than one shelter maintenance bot, is it possible that they can both... Oh. I have discovered the issue why that bot was broken. Ah, I have discovered why that bot was broken. Uh, it was because the other bot fixed it. They assigned the same task to the same location. That's why. Now, th my point still stands. Since version 127.1, uh, which we're now at 127.9, or... 127, 129.1 in the beta branch, uh, there were issues uh, with bots randomly just stopping. There were actual issues with bots just randomly stopping, and that has apparently now been fixed. So all we have to do now is just restart any bots that are broken, and they shouldn't break again uh, in that way. So what I have to do do actually is add some sort of loop until hands empty with an escape just in case I have to I have to have some sort of escape just in case of the instance where both bots are trying to fix the same thing. Are trying to fix the same thing. But... <sighs> but if it fails, I want it to find the crude hut again. I want this to repeat. If I tell this to repeat forever, it'll go and it'll add. If it can't add, it'll fail. 
and it will find the nearest crude and, re and repeat until its hands are empty. That is exactly what I want. That will fix it. Ideally. We need a new tech. What are we going to get here? Uh, I should have cereal being made. Uh, yeah, I definitely, definitely have cereal being made. I'm not actually storing the cereal. Should I be storing the cereal? What does the cereal by itself get used for? I don't know. Anyway, there's our tech moving again. Uh, I wanted... Oh, I know what I wanted to do today. I wanted to search for cotton. We need to search for cotton today. Because we don't have any in our current zone of vision as far as I am aware. There's no cotton patches. We've got cereal crops and we've got pumpkins and we've got grass but we have not had cotton as of yet ooh trace minerals ooh a big clay deposit interesting trace metals hello trace metals uh, now Cotton will be in an area of soil, so I just have to search soil patches for it. Now, note that I only have to do that check on one of the robots that are doing shelter maintenance, not both of them. Slash, I need to do it for every additional one doing maintenance as well. But uh, I can have a bot that doesn't do the check, and it should still operate maybe i don't know i probably do have to do that check on both you know what i actually do have to do that check on both uh, ignore me on that i i do have to adjust the other maintenance spot uh that's trace coal deposits still no cotton This is getting freaky. How far away is this cotton? Like, really? Am I going to have to reveal the entire map? For cotton? Auto Explory! Alright. I just got an achievement for my exploration antics. Well, see, I need to because I haven't found cotton anywhere. I need cotton. Like, I, I totes need cotton. Please don't be out here. <laughs> Please don't have the only cotton on this map be in the middle of the sea zone, deep water. That would be bad. That might actually be game-breaking, if that was the case. <laughs> How far away art thou, Cotton? I'm just, uh, clearing as much of the, uh, fog as I can. More grass! Oh, joy! Trace metals! Trace coal. What's up in here then? Besides a massive stone deposit. Not cotton. That's for sure. Maybe I have cotton on like some of the random tiles and I'm just blind. This is getting scary. <laughs> uh, I've almost revealed this entire part of the map. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There's the cotton. Right there. 
and there. Okay. It it spawned on this part of the map way far away. Significantly far away. Like, holy crap, that is really far away. Really, really far. Uh, part of me is tempted to check down here, clear some of this space up so that I can check if I have any a little bit closer than that. Like, really? All the way out there? You're telling me it's all the way out there for the cotton? Ay, 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 ay. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some way out here, too. Seriously, though. Why? Oh, it's more clay. I'm assuming this is all woods stuff. Slash grass. At least I move quickly. Ish. More grass. With the sheep. Pliz. Pliz more, uh... Cotton. Closer, please closer, cotton. That would be ideal. That's not cotton. That's not cotton at all. And that's stones. So that can't be cotton. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're still pretty far away. Trace coal at the edge of the map. All right. That's not cotton. <laughs> uh, can I... Yeah, I should be able to... Okay, it's it's uh, all hard rock mass. That's all that that is, is hard rock mass. Good to know. Alright. Uh, so you can move over the shallow waters. You can't move through deep water by default. Looks like we are a big fat no on the... Uh, on the idea of having anything of value in the form of cotton. No cotton around these parts. Mm, I'm tempted to check over there too, but like by that point, it's like it's the same distance ish. Uh, so cotton. Okay, cotton. us do cotton cotton crops from cotton seed yeah cotton crops then into cotton raw with the scythe cotton seeds is a threshing machine I do not have threshing machine but I think that this tech this tech is going to give me the threshing machine but this tech is going to require a cotton raw so I need to like I need to grab a scythe I need to grab a scythe Wherever the heck my character is. There. Grab the scythe. Then go all the way out here and scythe some cotton. And then just find a box to store it in. That's what we need to do now. So that we can take the tech and then we have to actually build the thresher. And then thresh the cotton. And then we can actually start planting our own cotton uh, around the place without having to uh, 
think about much else. Alright, scythe the cotton. That gave two units of raw cotton. That is a stack. Oh, and he does he does ride the uh the thingy. Our little character does ride the thingy. I'm gonna store it in here. Yeah, I'm gonna store it in this stack of uh boxes. Sure. Why not? Uh unless it yeah, so this does get stored in boxes, not in uh silos. Yay! We have some non-zero cotton. Now we have to wait for the, uh, basic baking recipes, I guess? Uh, technology to unlock? That is our next thing. Uh, love team. Shelter maintenance. It's not escaping. It's not escaping. Uh... Where are you? But I want it, I want it to do the thing here. If it fails, if it fails, it'll escape. If it can't add, it should escape and then find the nearest, because it now has to do this repeat loop as well. It'll have, it'll have to go back into here, find the nearest, and then add. And if it can't, somehow, like, this should guarantee that its hands are empty. This should guarantee that its hands are empty. Go. That's the, uh, that's the same thingy. Uh, I'll know if it breaks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll know if it breaks. Alright. Sneezy? Sneezy kitty? Kitty was sneezy! Uh, drop the, uh, scythe, please. I don't think I need that right now. So, what do we need? What's, uh, what's next? We're, like, full on these things. We're getting fixing pegs sorted. We've got all the thingies here. We're good. Uh, could use more crude blades. Could use additional crude blades. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, next thingy with shoes. You're going to be more blades. More blades. Your job is going to be go to here. Until your hands are full. Then go over and do this. Uh, I will probably retire the other crude blades guy. Uh, do that for ever and ever and ever. Uh, 
empty hands first. More blades. Uh, this guy can be retired or can be repurposed. Crude blade storage. You are going to be repurposed. Your job is you are going to go over and pick up the crude blades and store the crude blades. That's what you're going to do. Uh, forever. You can do it one at a time. They're really close to each other. It don't, it don't matter none. Uh, stop, drop, go. That is significantly more convenient. That is significantly more convenient. Yeah. I'll take that. That is a lot faster and more convenient. Our buddy has, uh, has shoes on to make him even faster. Yeah, that's, that's an upgrade. That, that I can call, without a doubt, a very, very good upgrade. What are we going to do next? Uh, I will need a, well, I guess I will build a wood shaping bench next. Uh, you will need BP cranks. I think I've got BP square frames, as well as BP... Probably don't have BP crude blades, so you know what? Let's actually do this manually. It's one crank as well, and I don't know how many of these are ever going to build, so let's have a look before we go assigning random stuffs. Lots of planks, oh my. Let's go finish this quickly. Quickly now, before I'm spotted. Hey, wood shaping bench. I need... Alright, so you can make crude wheels as well. Uh, you can make crude axles and crude gears. So I will need at least two more of these. Now, what is the difference between the crude wheels being made here and that one? There is no difference, so... I don't need to make the crude wheels here. Uh, this will be for axles, uh, and I'll make one more. Clearly. Grab a blade. Place the blade. Grab a crank. Place the crank. Grab some stuffs. Planks. I guess I could have grabbed all the planks if I really wanted to. Where's our, like, BP poles? What happened to BP poles? Must not be in range. Must not be in range. Yeah, not in range of BP poles. Or planks, it seems. Yeah, not, uh, not in range of you. Uh, so you're going to do gear, uh, crude gears. Uh, now you can also just press M, by the way. Uh, I'm going to take both of these with their tiles that they're standing on, I think. That will... I think that works that way, or not? Yes, that works that way. Cool. Uh, because these need flooring, uh, as do masonry benches. That's something else I can start making, is masonry benches. I need a crude chisel and a mallet, uh, which... Those are going to be made right here. 
I think you can make those in these. Crude, chisel them out. Nope, not in one of these. Clearly not in one of these. Uh, in you, then. Oh, that's a bot workbench. Oh yeah, I can totally start work on all of that as well. Oh boy, this is going to be... Oh, there it is. Crude blade, pole, and wooden mallet. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, let's... Let's do this then. For the next ten minutes, we're going to start upgrading all of these. Uh, logs, panels, square frames. Alright. You there. You've got... You've got shoes. Grab a log. Bring to this blueprint. Find nearest blueprint in this area and place that log. It counts as a blueprint, so I could take my existing BP guys and do just the thing here. If I so chose. Desired. Uh, BP. Upgrades. Logs. Go. I need someone for panels, which are identical in that they can only be carried one at a time. Move and grab panels. Panels can only, yeah, only one panel at a time. We're carrying it on our head. Do the thing in the max zone forever. BP panels upgrades. Sure, why not? Do that. And then you uh, record square frames. Uh, I think you can pick up up to two at a time so you're going to grab those and bring them down forever empty hands first uh bp upgrades square frames Uh, and we're going to sort of say, hey, upgrade all of the things. Upgrade all of them. Note, once these are upgraded, pretty sure that the bug has not been fixed yet uh, to... Uh, have them... Oh. Tech. Uh, if you have upgraded a workbench of some sort, uh, if you remove it, it doesn't actually give you the upgraded version back if you delete. So you have to just move. You can't, uh, you can't delete. So doughs and flowers and kitchen tables and crude ovens, all of that is going to come into play with making like pies and such a lot later I think anyway let's get our cotton tech going grab the cotton raw so many things to do and so little time that I would like to upgrade to our mark two bots if at all possible yeah, so you... Do I have to upgrade my bot assembly unit? Can I upgrade my bot assembly unit? Basic bot, bot. Bot head, bot bod, bot drive. 
Okay, so... What this means is that this will make a robot using whatever parts you throw at it. So if we're making Mark II bots, we just throw a Mark II bot head, bot, and drive. That's what that means. That's what that means. And you can use any combination. Uh, which is true. You can use any combination of parts. As long as it's got a head, a body, and a drive, you can make the uh, stuff. Oh, all of these need flooring to operate now. Wonderful. Wonderful. They all need flooring to operate. Well, let's get work on get to work on that, shall we? Uh, I could do the logs and planks flooring. Huh? What? Oh. I have to move flooring underneath them. That is abundantly annoying. Interesting how the, the sandy track is treated as road, yet the crude flooring is not. Because you... Yeah, you, if you click and drag, you get a line of sand. You get a line of sand. But if you click and drag the uh, flooring, I guess I could do crude flooring because I do have straw now. I do have straw now. I could potentially do that. Set up like a thing here and just grab a uh, a bot and be like hey grab straw and make flooring in the area um, until your hands are full until your hands are empty do that do that second do that forever you are BP Straw, go, uh, and do that for me. Make glorious things. Uh, in the meantime, let us decide what we want to make here. So these first three will be doing different things now. I have to reprogram the robots uh, on these three. Do we have what we need to make the Mark II bots? We will soon. Uh, we can do good bot brain upgrades. We can do good bot sensor upgrades. We can do good bot power upgrades. We can do good bot locomotion upgrades once we start making good gear. Good gears. Note the difference between good gears and crude gears. Uh, which we now can make the good gears, by the way. Uh, I need to have a robot that is automating those gears, uh, and that is it. But we can totally do this. <laughs> we can totally do this. Uh, where did I place these? Good gears. Panels and fixing pegs. And give me... Uh, some of these. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we can, we can do this. Uh, this is good gears. Uh, good gears. Panels. I guess I'll call this GG. GG panels! You're going to grab panels. Take them down here. Uh, I am running low on panels. Is it because... It might be because it's broken. Uh, do that forever, please. 
Uh, don't do that forever, please. Do that until the, uh, storage there. Do it until this storage is full and do that forever. Uh... You... Oh, that's fine. Ah, it's the uh, not sufficient square frames from not sufficient pegs, but... Eh, I guess I can just make another chopping block for pegs. Then I'll run out of poles. Ah, oh, boy. Need, need more things. Need more things, especially with all these... Wow, that's a lot of fixing pegs that we need. Um, yeah, about that. Uh, chopping block, chopping block. Where for art thou? Chopping block. Give me two additional chopping blocks. Give me crude axes. And make these chopping blocks. Oh boy, and I'm looking at the time now, and uh, I think now that I've made these chopping blocks to get some additional... Uh, stuff going uh, for our fixing pegs. I think we're going to have to end things off here, folks. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been a talk to show about what did we do today? Well, we've started upgrading the robot-based stuff. We found cotton uh, today. Uh, that's that's pretty much it, honestly. We found cotton about time. Uh, we've started upgrading this stuff. Uh, found out that we can, and we started making, uh, we made wood shaping benches to do all that. Oh, our chargers are not working. Apparently. Apparently, we don't have a charger working. Yeah, hi. Both, both chargers became, like, lost charge at the exact same time. Both chargers lost charge at the exact same time down here. That's not good. Uh, so we did, we did various random things today, but most importantly is, uh, we're starting to do these upgrades here. Uh, and we have finally found the cotton. So again, thank you all for watching this been a talk show, but if you have enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this uh, series appear higher up in search results. As the kitty is sneezing next to me. <laughs> and uh, be sure to do all of the social stuff in the links in the description below, and I will see you all on the next one.